Hi, my name is Taylor Robertson. I'm a robotic software developer in Waterloo. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set your weld angles. I've created a program and now I want to set my angles. I'm going to go back into edit and I'm going to select my weld start point. I'm going to go into edit weld and it provides me a series of options. I'm going to click check weld angles and it's going to prompt me to go to my original position. This will be the weld start point that I have taught. Once here, it's going to show me the current angles of my torch. I'm going to set it to 45 degrees. I can either use the small or large adjustments, small being one degree increments and large being five degree increments to set my work angle to 45 and my travel angle to 10. Once I have set these and I am happy, I'm going to click update weld angles and it's going to apply them to that position. If I would like to keep these angles consistent throughout the rest of my weld, I am then going to hit optimize weld points. This will apply the angle that I have set on my weld start throughout the rest of the points in my weld through to my weld end. I'm going to hit apply and it's going to update the remaining positions in my weld. Once I am satisfied, I will click done. It's going to write my program and I can go ahead and run this. It's going to ask me if I would like to go to my start point since I am not near it. I'm going to hit go to start. And now I can run my program. My torch angle is now held consistent throughout my weld at a 45 degree work and a 10 degree travel. That is how you set your weld angles.